Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Serena and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to turn any ruched top, um, vintage top or modern top into a nursing friendly top by making a really simple hack. This is not going to be a full tutorial for the entire bodice and or top because I wanted this to be quick and easy as a supplemental video to where you could just use this as a quick reference and then work on your project and because this can be used for so many different styles of patterns i did not want to do focus on one specific pattern but rather just show you how to hack the top and then apply it to any pattern that you have whether it be the one that i have on now which you'll see further on in the video or others which i'll list at the end as just a reference, I don't usually um, sell or promote uh, patterns and things like that. I think that is completely up to you, but because um, nursing is very near and dear to me, I thought that I would help you guys out, especially in terms of finding a pattern similar that comes in a lot of different sizes as opposed to buying a one size true vintage pattern. So we'll get into the video. So I wanted to go ahead and show you how this became a maternity top. So basically I put a one inch overhang on both sides, the underside and the top side, so you can pull it open to nurse and or pump like so. And I put one on each side with the opening facing the shoulders so it's not so obvious. And also if this ever moves forward, the overhang completely, um, protect so you don't need any closure i find that it makes it a lot easier and nicer to breastfeed if you don't have to worry about zipping snapping velcroing or anything like that you just um flap it back over and you have full coverage i don't have the largest bust in the world but i could imagine if you needed more coverage you could just make the overlap a little bit wider <clears throat> Or you can add a sew on snap for more coverage but we're going to get into how to add this panel onto all of your dresses and tops that have this type of bodice it's really simple so what you will need for this project is a pattern where the pattern piece for the bust and ruching is completely separate from the rest of the top or the bodice and you're also going to need a solid muslin fabric or just anything that's easy to read markings on and preferably something sheer you can see through. And you will also need a marking tool like a disappearing ink pen or a chalk. The first step is to cut your pattern like you would, like the instructions intended you to be able to, to cut it. So cut that first and then you're gonna move on to your machine and do the gathering. All of this is your mock-up, so don't do this on your fashion fabric. Now you want to gather it, or at least on mine, you're gathering as the very next step. So I'm gathering the top within the seam allowance. I'm using a white thread so you can see what it is that I'm doing, but I'm gonna do one gathering stitch since this isn't the real thing. Usually you'll do two gathering stitches, both on the top and the bottom. Once you're done gathering, move this over to your dress form, or you can put on a shirt and pin it to yourself so that way you can guide or gauge where it is that you want to put the pocket or the slit placement. So I'm gonna finish gathering this up and then we'll move over to the dress form so I can better explain it. So now I am pinning this piece to the bodice or the bust of my dress form and then I will adjust the gathers. And this is just rough because even after you place your slits in there, you can always move the, the position because it's gathered and so you can adjust it a little bit after the fact. So this is just a rough estimate and you don't have to take this super seriously. It's just a guide. My original, I didn't even do this step. I just guessed it and then moved the gathers around to make sure it lined up where I wanted it after the fact. But this is a more accurate way of doing it. And I figure if I've already tested it, so if the half halfway version worked or the half-ass version worked, then this way is surefire. 
So now you're going to release all of your gathers and then redraw a line where you put those guide marks when it was on your dress form. So here I am just making a rough straight line very close to the one that I marked on my dress form. It's not exact, but it wasn't going to be because it was gathered. So I'm just going to draw as close to a straight line, um, a straight line as close to where the original markings were. And then I'm going to cut that in. Um, I'm going to cut that in half. And then I'm also going to place another cut down the center front. So that's why I made sure to press it so that way I know exactly where that was. And I will cut that too and get rid of the other side because we're going to cut the center one on the fold again and then cut two of the pieces on the right. Lay your original pattern piece down first and put your new cut piece on top. Make a fold mark right there and make sure to fold that little piece by the armhole out of the way because you're going to use this as a guide to cut your new piece. You're going to put it down on top of fresh fabric and add an inch plus your seam allowance. My seam allowance is a half inch and you're going to cut that piece. So here I am measuring out my inch plus seam allowance. I used a half inch here and I am drawing a little curve. I don't have a curved ruler so I kind of eyeball it but we're going to true that up later so do not worry about that. After that you go ahead and cut your pieces out and then you're going to want to put a little snip or a notch where you want your pattern pieces to all line up now that you have that extra space and I do it right there. So you'll see it's right where the original pattern ends and um, I forgot to cut that off. So yeah, don't forget to make all your cuts or it'll be incorrect. So now you need to unfold your pattern piece and do the exact same thing on the other side. So you want your you want to get the center front portion of this bodice. So fold it backwards and then get all of that extra paper out of the way so that way you can cut this on the fold but don't forget to add your inch on the other side plus seam allowance for that hem. So here I am pasting my new pattern piece on the fold of the fabric and I will get my ruler out and add that seam allowance or the inch plus seam allowance for the overlap. Don't forget to add your snips so that way the pattern pieces line up like it did on the like on the other side. Now you should have three pieces and I like to line my pieces up and make sure all the notches are matching. That's why we put those notches on there. It makes it so easy for you to line that up at this point. Make sure that your center front piece is on top so that way the opening is away from the center and towards your underarms. So that's what I'm doing here is lining those pieces up for you as you can see and you're going to do both sides and pin it. Once both sides are pinned, fold it down the center front 
and grab your original pattern piece and measure it up to make sure that everything is exactly the way that it's supposed to be. And so everything should be spot on. And after that, we will move on to hemming those slits up. Also, um, since the pins are already in place, you can double check how wide you want your opening to be. And if you want to shorten it up a little, you can do that now, but leave the pins in place. And I also leave the pins in place while hemming it because I don't want anything to move. So I just hem with the, hem, the pins in place and then I baste or gather the tops and the bottoms um, before I remove the pins. So there's enough room for you to be able to work without separating or moving the pins out of the way. Now you are back to what the original piece shape and size would have been. And all you have to do is follow the original pattern instructions from here. You have your slit openings. Uh, everything is hemmed at this point. And now you can go ahead and baste it or you can just gather straight from here like I did. It's all completely up to you. Keep in mind at this point, if it's not exactly centered the way you wanted it, you can adjust the gathers over your bust once you start assembling your, your pieces together. So you do have a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to the placement of these. And so this is, it. this is it. It's just that simple. It's turning one piece that was cut on the fold into three separate pieces instead. And the overlap allows you to be able to nurse your baby or pump and you get full coverage without having to add a snap or a zipper. I like this technique in this way better because you get to, you get access a lot faster and it covers really well without any kind of closures. So I love this. So now I'm just pinning it on here so you can see exactly how this works. It's rough. Um, it's a rough piecing, but I hope you guys appreciate this. So I'm just showing it to you now and like I'm showing you how I'm having to adjust the gathers so that way the placement goes directly over the bust area or the, the nipple. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram at Serena underscore where you can keep up with me on real, at real time. Also, I have a Kofi account where you can donate if you want to. No pressure. But I also do sneak peeks of the projects that I'm working on before they make it onto YouTube and or Instagram. So if you just want to keep up with me, I started doing that as a thank you for the people who have been donating to me but it's also free. I don't have time to stay very consistent with like a Patreon. So I kind of treat it like that, except for everyone can see the content that I post there. But it's just another way that I say thank you for everyone who's been supporting me. Now I'm going to show you how the, the top that I'm currently wearing uh, works. So it's a wrap top. I think this is really good for postpartum because you can adjust it by just tying. There are no closures on this, so you just wrap the back pieces together. I'm so sorry, I didn't realize I was right in front of it, but like you wrap the pieces together down the center and then tie it in the front. And that's how simple this top is. It's really cute. You can also pair it with those maternity shorts that I wore before, the ones that are adjustable. So that way you can completely grow and or shrink in this outfit and you can get the most function out of your clothes. Now, this style top comes in a different kinds of styles. You can get this in a dress. I do have a vintage, true vintage dress pattern like this, but there are modern and reproduction dresses. You can do peasant tops and one, pattern that I know comes in a lot of sizes is the Gertie's Rita top. This is not sponsored or partnership, but I know that comes in a lot of sizes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check the description below for pattern information, suggestions, and things like that. Leave any questions and concerns in the comments, and please tag me in your makes if you make anything similar. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!